Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Now today I thought I would film, today and tomorrow, I thought I'd basically vlog a little bit of what I'm doing both days because I've got a few bits and pieces on but overall they should be quite nice days. They're not jam-packed or busy, but today I've just had breakfast and got dressed, done my hair a little bit like a lion because I am going to go meet my mum today and it's going to be quite a nice little day. She's coming down to London. We're going to get our nails done at Young London where I went for a facial the other week. Um, and then just do a little shop and lunch and, and things like that. So I thought I would kind of take you with me, show you what. I'm doing in the day and just have a little bit of a chit chat along the way so if you're interested keep watching all oh, my retainers <laughs> oh gosh we do still have those at night and um, I have got this plant for anyone who follows me on Instagram I named him Bob and I thought it was quite a nice addition to my room actually I know I haven't done a room tour and I'm not going to today because it's still pretty bare honestly it really helps me in the morning making my bed and I know that sounds like a ridiculous thing to say but it is one of my things and like consistency in morning routine that I do straight away I go have a wee normally and then I come back and make my bed really nicely and put the pillows on and everything like that things that you do first thing in the morning and it's like that is done now um, and it, it is really really good and another thing that I do in my morning routine now is listen to the Calm app. Let me get my phone. Yeah the Calm app obviously this isn't in any way sponsored at all but it's just quite nice. So today I've been listening to, I've gone on the Meditate and listened to it's seven days of happiness I've listened to Welcome to day two of the seven days of happiness. And it's like, how long is it? It's 14 minutes and it just takes you through a little bit of a practice and a mantra and a, just a different way of thinking. So if you're struggling a little bit in the morning or sometimes I like to use it to like sleep, I can't, get, I can't fall asleep with it. I know some people can, I can't at all. But sometimes if I just need... If you know when you feel like you're tight chested and you're like, you know, you feel a bit like overwhelmed and a little bit stressed, sometimes I just like to take five minutes out. And even if I'm not listening to like the whole thing, just to like refocus, it's just like breathe in and breathe out. And I know it's a little bit hippie, but honestly, I, I find it to be so incredibly useful. So right now I am just about to do a couple of emails that I need to email back long hair on me email back a few brands and then i'm gonna pop to meet my mom I literally feel like I've turned East London because I live in East London now. Ignore that belt on the floor. I've just bought it from Zara yesterday. But this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Can you see? If anyone knows East London, this is what people look like. I never thought I would start dressing in like baggy like paper mum jeans and yeah big teddy coats and stuff so I thought I'd just show you my outfit really quickly before I go I'm wearing the top shop teddy coat like literally in the winter I've worn this to death and I've got layers on layers I feel today because I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like it says 16 degrees later on but cloudy and I just feel like they're lying and I feel like it's gonna rain so anyway so I've got this um this is from Zara actually it's like just a long sleeved it's not even a crop it's just a long sleeved like thin jumper I've got a body underneath so I can like strip off if it's too warm I am literally obsessed and I never thought I'd say this about um River Island stuff but these paper jeans they just seem to fit me so so well uh they're, and they're crop they're in a petite and then I've got my standard Alexander McQueen trainers which to be fair guys I thought when I bought them because 
they were like 350 pounds which I'm embarrassed about however I literally worn them so much like I'm not saying every day but nearly every day since I bought them like six months ago or something so I think sometimes like fast fashion and if you can get like investment pieces they can and especially trainers which are really like hardy and you can probably wear them all the time I think it may be like a good investment but still it's a lot of money but I like them a lot. So me and mum have just come to Young London. Now I come here a lot for my skin. So I've had two facials here before, but we're having the deluxe manicure. So I'll let you know how we find it. That is mum over there. <laughs> are in the middle of getting our nails done. I've had a colour on. For some reason it's very yellowy here so I don't know if you can see. I'm actually having the new it's CBD oil. I don't know if you can see there but it's apparently I'm the first one or nearly the first one to have it done but it apparently makes your skin really really soft. I have heard of it before but to be honest I don't really know that much about it but we are having like a bit of a massage, just like cupping going on. So I'm hoping my hands will be very silky smooth afterwards. Hi guys, this is obviously the next day. We are on dressing gown vibes actually. I'm on my laptop, which is the story of my life. And I've just put some fake tan on and it's the Express Saint-Tropez tan. It's like, I think it's like one hour is light, two hours is like a medium darkness and then three hours is supposed to be dark. So I don't know if you can see this, but I've been currently sat here for about an hour and a half. I never put anything on my face because my skin is prone to breakouts and I just find that I'm really used to that Zio skincare that I showed you in my get ready with me video and I've used it for months and months that I'm just like I don't want to put anything like alien on my skin that I'm not used to um so yeah I, I never use that on my face but yeah I'm just sit, sitting here and doing work really and I kind of just wanted to show you this side of my life because I think people are talking about it who are kind of social media content creators a lot more now that actually what you see on Instagram and the, the content and maybe even like the YouTube videos and stuff that isn't like just the standard thing that we do every day and it's making such a difference actually working with a photographer Alex that I, I've worked with her for a couple of weeks now because now I am kind of running my own business and doing all the admin side of things. There was just no time to get really great content on my own and it's really hard when you don't have like someone there taking photos of you. Um, so it's just finding her and we really like click together. It's just allowed me to have like one day a week where I create the content that I need to for the brands that I'm working with. Obviously, I have like three main brands that I work with all the time, but I also have partnerships that are one off or over like a few months. And I think it's really like, I kind of just wanted to talk about this a little bit more because I think a lot of people still are like unaware of like the job and what's involved and just think you just get free stuff all the time or you just get money for doing nothing and I know I'm in my dressing gown but I'm actually working at the same time and I have been up since very early this morning um, and this isn't like oh my god gosh my job's so hard because I'm aware that I'm like I'm not curing cancer I'm not doing um like an office job I'm aware this is free reign but also like I am in communication with a big brand at the moment and you have to do so much in regards to talking about the content that you're going to create talking about money because I know that we all shy away from talking about money but talking about the amount of money that you're going to create I get so so many brands and companies and things message me and email me per day and 
if you go through my Instagram feed or my YouTube channel, you'll know that actually it's a re really select number of people or brands that I work with. And that is because everything that I do and work with, and this is something that's come across through all the years that I've done social media, I do not work with someone that I do not or would not use their products and do not want to wholeheartedly promote. And I think that's really important. Um, so it is all about that communication back and forth with brands. Like there is so much that goes on behind the scenes. I was actually listening to um, Sammy Coates podcast with Lydia M Miller. Lydia Miller, M Lydia Millen. I don't know why I've just butchered her surname, but anyway, she's great in fashion blogger. And they were really like transparent about what goes on behind the scenes. Cause I think social media obviously sometimes gets a really bad rep for these people and maybe like reality TV stars and I'm not criticizing anyone at all, but maybe their management company in particular, like they get almost like insta famous really quickly like in a matter of weeks these millions and millions of followers and then they kind of do things which is just going to be a really short shelf life like do all the teeth whitening and skinny tea collaborations which it's just not honest and yeah they get paid money for it but i don't know if i'd want to be paid for that i don't know i just feel very dishonest and I think the communications which I'm having with brands at the moment is all about how I can add value. I'm in touch with, if you followed me on Instagram, if you do follow me, sorry, I'm a bit nasally guys at the moment, I've got a bit of a sniffle going on, um, but I'm in touch with a few charities at the moment because I really want to whittle down one charity that I will be like a volunteer ambassador for so I can promote and raise awareness about and I think it's just all about giving back and using your influence as a good thing as well. So I know that was like a mini ramble, but I kind of just wanted, I do want to be more transparent. This industry is so new and I think a lot of people feel, felt in the beginning and me included about why am I getting paid to promote something? <laughs> like it, it did feel very alien to me, but what I think once you take the money situation out of things and remember that everything really, money kind of makes the world go round and that is what we do in exchange for doing things and working and my job and social media and advertising and whatever is just no different. Um, so I do work hard, I do work very hard and a lot of what you see on Instagram is just a very snippet of my job and most of it is this <laughs> on my laptop the reason why i've got fake tan on as well is i'm filming content with alex tomorrow i think i said that yesterday i'm not sure but anyway i'm gonna do this for a little while leave my tan to bake for another like hour or so i think and then i've got a few errands to run and things like that later so i will check in with you probably at lunchtime, which I'm guessing will be about what. I am already late story of my life. I'm going to see Henry, he's working from home today. He lives very near me, literally like four minutes walk. And in between, we've got a really nice cafe called Ginger and Mint, and it's quite healthy. I go there all the time. So I'm going out afterwards, doing running a few errands. So I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing really quickly. I got this in the post today. I bought it from ASOS. It's like, I don't know if you can see, it's just like a little, cheapy necklace, I think it was eight pounds. I've got all Topshop on actually, some Topshop pants which I love um, and this jumper that I bought last year and then I've got my Alexandra McQueen trainers again that I showed you yesterday. So yeah, that is my full outfit. I don't think I'm wearing a coat today which is gonna be the first time this year. So yeah, let's go out and eat, I'm hungry. <laughs> So we've come to Ginger and Mint, Henry is here, but he's wearing socks and sandals, which is quite inappropriate to film, because it just, it's just never, it just should never be worn. Um, but I come here nearly every day, actually, and I always get exactly the same thing. It's number 22, you can see on there. It's a green thing, it's just all like vegetables. It hasn't got any fruit in it, so it definitely tastes very green, but I know that, because it's pressed, 
right there and then I know it's really good for me and I also get the chicken vegetable wrap with no sauce I think they know my order so I've just got in from the shop and I couldn't really find anything. I said before I've been feeling a little bit under the weather and I was just a bit fuzzy headed and I was just like, I just need to go home. I've still got quite a lot of admin stuff to do. But kindly, my next door neighbor must think, who is this crazy person and gets deliveries all the time. And it was a big bulk part of delivery that they kindly took in for me. Um, I was just like, do you work from home too? <laughs> Um, I think he does like consultancy or something like that. But anyway, he's very kind and took my bulk powders delivery in for me. I've just laid it all out, so I'll just show you what I ordered. Okay, first things first, let's go on to the macro munch because I love these. They are protein bars. I think they're probably one of my favorite protein bars I've ever tasted. They taste so chocolatey, and I know some protein bars can just taste of protein powder. These don't, they taste a real good chocolate bar. So I've got two boxes of those, some nuts. I've got macadamia nuts and whole almonds because they're just great to snack on and bung in things. Um, on the nuts vibe, I've got some roasted almond butter and roasted cashew butter. I haven't had cashew butter for ages. And so it's a little bit more indulgent and I really like it anyway. So I'm going to put some cashew butter and my oats I think as a little snack because I'm quite hungry um I've also got these high protein cinnamon bagels never ever tried them before interested to try see what they are like um and I also really enjoy the vegan protein I've got vanilla and white chocolate coconut which I've got already the this flavor I just prefer vegan because I find it agrees with my stomach a lot more and I really, really like this in oats and shakes and things like that. I think I'm going to go stay at Henry's tonight, which will be very nice. Um, and then I've got my shoot with Alex tomorrow. I've got some like fish and veggies and I think we're either having like potatoes or rice with it. I kind of want to keep it quite clean because I'm shooting first thing tomorrow. So I'm just going round to Henry's house now. I've done a bit of work, I've posted, I'm just not feeling that well. You see my cheeks are very, very rosy, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. I'm just gonna like relax today. When you're poorly or like a little bit run down, I find the evenings you just get more and then you get better throughout the day. So hopefully that will be the case tomorrow. Oh, I'm speaking and I can hear my like nasally throat because I'm glad for it. Of the North Face of the Tower, the Reaper Tower's original design. It's all hot. <laughs> so, the last meal of the day, I just feel like I don't really want to show you because it's not really a meal. We decided, I decided that I really wanted soup. We made, well, Henry made, a really nice parsnip and butternut squash soup on Sunday. It is now Thursday, but you know, it's only been in the fridge for that amount of time. Henry normally leaves things in the fridge for a long time. After after that so this is quite short in comparison and also quite unusual I bought some haddock that is actually going off today so we're having having haddock with soup on the side which it doesn't look that appealing but I'm sure it'll taste fine so this is this is it it's a bit yellowy on camera but this is a soup which actually tastes really really good <laughs> what on <laughs> I haven't got a gherkin on mine. It does look like, yeah, I'm not sure. It just doesn't work the best. Guys, so the last little bit of footage that I filmed, I don't know where it went, but for some reason I deleted it, which was kind of annoying. So this doesn't really make sense because we are three days down the line and I just wanted to finish off the video because I was editing it and I was like, I've just, just doesn't look very good. But you'll be able to see, I just got back from the hairdressers. I got some new hair, a little bit kind of darker and like a warmer kind of blonde. So yeah, this is a little sneaky peek. I just literally walked through the door now. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked my few days of filming and like more of the behind the scenes kind of stuff. I never really know whether it's like interesting or a little bit dull. So please give me feedback. Obviously, we don't like schools. I have feelings. But um, yeah, any constructive criticism or just nice things to say that would be really appreciated. Until next time, 
I will see you in the next video.